Nicaragua. Nuestros periodistas y también los periodistas internacionales, todos los acompañantes, 65.23% turnout. That, that means over 2.8 million votes in total were cast yesterday. Sunday, November 7th, a historic day, a day that for us represents triumph, a triumph of the people, without any doubt. And the Sandinista National Liberation Front, our Commander Daniel, in this presidential election, so far, has 75.92% of the votes. We bless, we appreciate. God bless God. God bless the people. We welcome this vote with humility and with a high sense of responsibility. We are humble and we feel responsible and we are aware of the privilege and the responsibility and that there is much that we have to do to reach the aspiration and dreams of Nicaraguan families. The PLC, according to the Supreme Electoral Council, has 14.15%, Christian Way 3.30%, APRA 178%, PLA 170%, and ALN 3.15%. We, we our party has earned more than 2.0 million votes, which we welcome and we appreciate. And we know that it's a responsibility to continue working together to consolidate this victory, this victory and, and struggle that is continuous. Because this is what life is. Life is for those that fight, for those that struggle, for those that always want to move forward to reach their dreams, especially in a country as ours, where there are so many extraordinary people giving the best of themselves, them, their families, their mothers, husbands, wife, daughters and sons, granddaughters and grandsons. And we continue to give the best we have. We continue to work for those that gave their life. And that's the sense of responsibility and commitment with those extraordinary beings and special people that came before us. And with their blood, they have put on the land of this beautiful homeland the sense of responsibility and commitment that we have. And the most important thing that we must know is that we are all together. All of us together have to move forward. We are that force of the people. We are all a union for prosperity. And that we are all the triumph of Nicaragua. God bl Nicaragua, blessed be thee, always sovereign and always free. We continue to be all together with Daniel, together with the Sandinista National Liberation Front and the people. And this afternoon, we're going to be in the Revolution Square, closing this moment, this electoral moment, this historical day, this electoral event that is historic, as we were saying, sovereign elections for the first time in our country, in the Revolution Square. We are going to be all together. And we're going to be through the medias all together, celebrating, giving thanks to God 
in a world full of lies and with a spirit of humiliating us light, life and true the sacred word of Jesus Christ is the one that prevails today in time, in history in the memory and in the dignity of the peoples so it doesn't matter how much they lie doesn't matter how much they slander, we see the light, the truth, and these people of ours is Christian, and is truly Christian, is socialist, has high spirits of family, of solidarity, and truth prevails, and will continue to prevail. 45 years today, from love from Nicaragua, precisely so that we all can live with love and hope, that we all have a better life and have the right to develop and prosper under our commander, head of the revolution. That's why we say Carlos 45, all together we are moving forward. And today, November 8th, and this year full of blessing and full of historic victories that we thank God, we also, there's also 45 years of our hero, national hero, head of our revolution, Commander Carlos Fonseca. We celebrate this epic anniversary of the revolution, accomplish the victorious dreams of all our national heroes, all our generals, our ancestors, our Andres, our Jose Dolores, our Lionel Rudama, our precursors, our undefeated but heritage of sovereignty, of dignity, a national pride, a people noble and fighter, full of hope, happy, and truly Christian and solid and helpful, has given a new le lesson of history and glory, carrying out the first sovereign elections in this homeland, blessed by the holy blood of so many Nicaraguans that represent our identity because we know of struggle and we know of love. We have fought and we will continue to fight great battles and we have reached and we will continue reaching great victories. All together we are moving forward. Together in victory, which is not an empty phrase, what, what keeps us moving forward for peace and prosperity and those paths that we walk with trust in the heart, in the giant heart of the, consci of the consciousness and the unsupportable force of our rebellion in the face of empires against our great victories against colonialism, against imperialism, and against the people of always. Yesterday, November 7th, we all live a day of infinite love for Nicaragua. Today with Carlos and walking together with all our heroes, we say with the certainty of a people that wins, sovereignty in my land is written with capital letters. Nicaragua triumphs in peace and unity. Nicaragua is made of vigor and glory. Nicaragua is made for freedom. In all our triumph and all these triumphs belong to the people. Unity for prosperity. We are going to be pending for the meeting in this afternoon in the Revolution Square to close this moment of a great victory, of great dignity, of great courage, of ratification of our family model and community. 
and protagonism of the people, women, family, men, young, all of them protagonists of fraternity, of brotherhood. That's how we live and that's the way we want to continue living and that's what we confirmed yesterday and we ratify that with Daniel and the Sandinista National Liberation Front is that the people continues to be president. And the news, the information that we have these days are many, but we want first to thank the greetings that we have received from the Russian Federation, from, from Raul Castro, historic leader of the Cuban Revolution, of President Miguel Diaz Canel, the president of Cuba, Foreign Minister Bruno Rodriguez, from this, from Cuba, our brother Cuba, that revolutionary Cuba. We have also received greetings from Venezuela, from the President Maduro. He sent a message, the Foreign Minister Plasencia. The Foreign Ministry and the people of Venezuela in general, also Bolivia, the government of Bolivia, President, the President and former President Evo Morales the Secretary General of ALBA, and so many more that have brought us from all over the world celebrating this demonstration of peace and welfare that yesterday the people of Nicaragua inside of the whole world carried out to continue achieving victories or our objective, all the battles, the battle and victory of a model of dignity and sovereignty. We are currently vaccinating. It continues today in more than 1,500 places. People are receiving their vaccines and now over 52% of, of the population has received the vaccine. Tomorrow we will have more precise numbers. We continue receiving through, through the COVAX mechanism vaccines, over 300,000 vaccines of AstraZeneca that God willing, if there are not any delays, we will receive them tomorrow. We always, we always approach this through COVAX mechanism and through the government of Canada. We're also going to share some data tomorrow of the current situation of the pandemic in the country and all the special activities aside the vaccination, also the different projects that we continue developing and growing in the whole country, streets in Managua, Polsutege, in different regions of the country, and the building of houses and other projects that continue to move forward at the rhythm of the people with what it needs, work, peace, and prosperity. We also have the education ministry preparing the exams, continue working. We continue to receive all the children that want to study, to enroll in schools, also in the health sector, our health schools and technological schools. They are all working for the education, which is certainty of a prosperous future. Prosperous future. It's a certainty, a hopeful certainty of a victory, of a prosperous victory. We also have this week the inauguration of the center to, to attend the citizenship in the municipality of Savannah on Thursday, on Thursday and Friday, God willing. Today we deliver titles, over 300 in Rancho Grande, Granada and other regions, small credits for hundreds of families in different regions of the country. For the development of rural areas, 
and metropolitan areas as well. You also have over 280 solidarity groups, over 900 groups working, receiving credits to back their development in the field and the city. And over 4,000 credits were delivered this week to the same number of families in different in 1,000 solidarity groups. Salvador Mansell will inform of the different white programs of energy that are going to be developed in this month of November of so many victories of peace. We have ratified our commitment with peace, our willingness, our willingness and right to live in peace. And all of these projects are ratification of the better conditions that can we have to live in peace, working and moving forward. Tomorrow we're going to also comment on other inaugurations that are going to be made. So here we are, united in victory, the strength of the people. Blessing the fa blessed be the Father for this triumph, a triumph of trust of the of the old father and it's a triumph of hope it's a triumph of, of understanding of the family of the right to work it's a triumph of the right to study if a triumph of the dreams and achieving the dreams of the youth in the whole country it's a triumph of the family of women that we have moved forward so much that today we have full rights, that we have positions that represent a capacity of decision, an ability of decision, position, power position, that, as they so call it. The people have the power. Women have power to walk, blessing, things, turning all the all the gift from from God in results in our society. These are sacred lands of history, of glory, of memory, sacred lands of sovereignty and national dignity. See you soon, partners. We'll see each other soon in the Revolution Square, together with Daniel, to close this historic event, this electoral event, and move forward on the path of work and peace and prosperity, which is the one that we want to take Nicaraguan families. United in victories, all together we move forward. Thank you. Rao was a vice president elect Rosario Murillo. Uh, please stay tuned. Thank you very much. Thank you for.